What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are in unboxing the seats for the Smurf. Um, they, they got here really quick. I literally ordered them like two days ago. They're here. Uh, so we're going to be unboxing them. And uh, yeah guys, we're going to see the quality of them, see how they look. I am a little wider than, you know, so I ordered them wider than the normal ones that you could buy. So for you chubby people out there, um, there's hope to buy cheap affordable uh bucket seats for your guys' trucks cars or whatever so let's check them out um i don't think i've seen a good video of ebay but uh bucket seats um so let's check them out I'll, I'll do like a little review of them and then um stay tuned for the next videos coming up when we install them to the truck how we go about making a bracket so it sits and leveled and everything all right guys let's get to it Alright guys, that's a little white strip. Turn the book off. Alright guys, so let's open them up. Oh shit. First one. Alright guys, let's take them out of the plastic. Side. You guys can tell this is the tip right here, the little smush, but as you use it, you'll stretch out, I assume. The little vinyl leather seems really nice. There's no, um, like it doesn't feel cheap. Nice little suede right here. This is the only seat I could find that actually didn't have carbon fiber in the back. Most of the eBay ones you buy them have carbon fiber in the back. I don't like that. Everything is uh, leather and suede. Plus, I got something else. Something else to go with it, guys. Okay, so you got your bolt here. And you got a harness right here, guys. So... gonna look guys Jeez. in the blue truck so this is just an unboxing video you guys can see the leather you know it's nice and firm foam um so i'm gonna do a sitting test on them sit on them and yeah guys this is how it's gonna look on the truck i think it's gonna do a good contrast the truck is blue the whole interior is gonna be black with a little accents that are blue so yeah, let me know in the comments below, guys, what you guys think about the little setup. Let me set up this one up, put them together, we'll go from there. All right, guys, so I'm sitting in it right here. Hey, bad. It's comfortable. I'll be driving around. It's not hugging me. It's not pinching me right here on the sides. It's pretty good. Nice setup right here. It's nice and wide from the, from the, the ribs, the thighs. Like I said, check out this quality, guys. Nice, good stitching all around. They're gonna look nice and fancy inside the truck. But yeah, guys, check it out. I will slide off. And once I put these on, I'm strapped down, ready to go, ready to swing, guys. So I recommend these seats. Uh, I'll put a link down below of where I got them and uh where i got the harnesses i got them off ebay these are ebay racing seats uh these are ebay racing seats i'll put the, the link down below like i said i really like the quality of them of course they're gonna you know they're a little cheap but you know beats paying two thousand dollars for them you have your hold right here to put your sliders in you know they only have like a little tiny hole you still gotta send them in put them on but they should be good like i said it's good quality you know 
nothing's like over over wrapped or whatever you have a little lever here just a little lever to for your recliner seems cheap but when I, once I set these in there nobody else drives that truck but me so I shouldn't have any issues and then you do have your passenger and your driver's side so you, you guys are good to go you guys have it guys all set up all put together like I said, this one right here, it was facing down, so it was sitting on there. Um, it should stretch out with time. I don't really care that much for it. Uh, I paid, I think, almost like 400 bucks for everything, the harnesses and that. And then I, I got to create my own brackets to mount them. No biggie. Here's all the hardware. There's uh, the sliders, two and two. A little pull that you use to activate the slider. Well, here you guys have it, guys. Throw some cinematics, and that's it for today's video. I like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video is when we're going to be installing the carpet. And then uh, a couple other videos is going to be brackets, installing the seats, yada yada yada. Finish up the the interior, blacking it out, and making it look more like a drift truck. You know. Just giving that little essence. Stock seats were doing it for me. I'm still in the search of a jump seat, a 2017 uh, Chevy Sobrado jump seat. So I could put it between these, the black one with the leather, so it all matches and stuff. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. Peace. <laughs>